Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to discuss regarding CMOS Envert. I am Lavandi Vaishnavi. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and give a like. Next, coming to the first one, in the process of fabrication, uh, we are considering to fabricate a CMOS inverter. In CMOS inverter, you will be having a piece of substrate upon which the other layers are fabricated that is developed so this wafer is initially oxidized at the highest temperature maybe around 1200 or in between 900 to 1200 degrees centigrade so once it is oxidized the next layer of silicon dioxide is formed that is so once it once it is oxidized the upper layer oxidizes and forms silicon dioxide upon which a photoresistive material is applied. Photoresist, as the name indicates, it is a layer that avoids the light to penetrate within that. So we know that there are six different masks in the fabrication process. Among the very first mask is to form the n well process. So this is a mask. So those who understand uh, like what is mask, fine. If not, so where I have shown this black area, this black area will avoid the penetration of light where this lightened or white area allows the light to pass through it. So you can see it clearly. When you expose the wafer to UV rays, you can clearly see that the black area is blocking. So this area is blocking the light, whereas this area is allowing for the penetration. So this light penetrates into the photoresistive layer and melts that layer, creating a hole. Using hydrofluoric acid, so using hydrofluoric acid, the silicon dioxide in this gap or in this window is removed or it is etched off. So once it is etched off, this is the structure looks like. So after this, in the next step, so all the photoresist layer is removed using a process called piranha etching. So piranha etching where all the photoresist layer is completely removed. In the next step, we create N well. So in the creation of N well, there are two important processes. One is ion implantation, the other one is diffusion. In ion implantation, so the impurities are shooted into the layer or the wafer directly onto it so that it get penetrated and forms a N well layer. Whereas in the second case, that is diffusion, the complete wafer and the impurities are heated to certain higher temperature so that the diffusion process can take place and again the same impurity diffuses and form N well here. So let us see. So the impurities are penetrating into the P substrate forming an N well layer. In the next step, we remove the silicon dioxide using hydrofluoric acid so that we can place the next layers that is formation of cake in the second step a silicon layer thin layer of silicon dioxide is deposited over it and in the next one polysilicon is placed now upon this another mask that is the second mask is placed where to form the gate region so here i need a gate to be formed and here I need a gate to be formed. So only this layers are or this region is protected and the rest of the regions are allowed to allowed to that light to melt it. So again the light is passed. It melts the layer creating gate for PMOS and NMOS. In the next layer or in the next step again a thick layer of silicon dioxide is deposited. This thick layer of silicon dioxide is now used for the next step of creating N plus diffusions. So wherever we require N plus diffusion, there they have removed the silicon dioxide using mask. And to the same area, you can see the self-aligned source drain formation has taken place. So this diffusive or this impurity is again added into the layer and N plus layers are formed. 
In the next step, they remove the silicon dioxide. Place new set of silicon dioxide so that P plus layers are formed. So now all the mask is almost four mask is done. Next, the fifth one is to make contact cuts where thicker oxide layers is deposited. So this thick oxide layer create contact cuts. So wherever you need the metal to be poured or wherever the connection is to be formed, there are not the empty spaces are left. So the last one is puttering or aluminium deposition which is metallization. So in this metallization aluminium is sputtered all over that is the metal is heated to the most uh, to the highest temperature and it is sputtered all over the surface. Once it is sp sputtered all over the surface you get a thick layer of metal form. So, wherever you don't require, it is again etched through proper etching process. This is how an inverter is formed. So, this is a structure given in our book. So, according to this structure, the layers are formed. So, this is about fabrication of a CMOS inverter. Thank you everyone. For watching this short video so if you have any doubts you can write me back to my email id thank you